Salim Yamin Gagayen. Now we are going to continue uh, our uh, search for abundant water supply. Now, specifically, I'm here on top of a earth mound. You know what is an earth mound? An earth mound could be a termite mound wherein uh, uh, there are insects here holding the of uh, termites. But, you know, termite mound has its equivalent has, has its equivalent term in one of the languages of the Philippines, the local language. We call it here uh, in this part of the Philippines uh, Bunto. So from now on here, I'll using the term Buntone, B-U-N-T-O-N, Buntone, which means termite mound. Okay, now, the question is, is there any significance of the Buntone in our search for water? Or, what does this Buntone indicate? Is there a strong source of water? on top of this boonton or it can be found within the vicinity or around the this boonton that's what that's what we are going to find out okay so uh, i'm going to use the one of the uh, basic tools of the sample of objective of finding water so i'll be using the sample lab one Stick, okay, and now I'm going to find that uh, if there is any strong water signal here. I'm uh, doing it on the on this uh, this area. This uh, uh, the, the in front, the, the east uh, side of the bunto. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll try. See, I am unable to get any. I'm not able to get any signal. If there is any strong signal, it should have been moving like this. Okay? It should be moving like this, but it is not moving at all. So this means there is no water. Okay? Okay. Now, the uh, other basic tool of this uh, sample aqua technique is the use of this pendulum. This pendulum will validate the the findings of the uh, of the uh, sap polaco stick if there is no water or if there is water so this one will validate it so I'm going to swing it so it means whenever the this uh, pendulum is uh, moving sideways fronting me it means there is no water at all okay even here See that this indicates that there is no water signal at all, so nothing. Go now on the uh, east side, and the west side of the Bunto to find out if there is water or none at all. Okay, again, I will be using this stick. It has whether it will move or not. If it's not moving, it means there is no strong water signal. You see. It is not moving at all, so it means I don't get any water signal, no water source there. I'll be using this uh, uh, pendulum to validate the findings of the stick, if there is really no water. Okay, I'll assume you this way. And it went in front of me. Uh, swinging uh, sideways, which means that there is no water at all. Okay. Now I'm going to the uh, south side of the Bunto to find out if there is water or none at all. Okay. I'll be moving it this way. It is not moving. It is the same. Uh, motion of the the findings of the the east side, the west side, and now the south side. There is no water. Again, I'm going to use this to validate or invalidate the findings of the the stick.
on the west side. Okay. Uh, it is swinging, but it, uh, it again it goes in front of me, moving sideways. It means the findings of the the uh, the findings of the sapul acoustic has no water, and so this uh, pendulum bulb is that there is no water. It's not water signal at all. Okay, what about on top of the boonton or uh, thermite mount? Is there water at the center of, uh, of the top of the boonton or not at all? Again, I'll be using this, this, uh, this uh, sticks, and then to be validated later by the pendulum. Okay. moving at all. If there is a strong water signal, it should, it should have moved like this. And this one, it has, uh, it has a, it should have moved uh, towards me backward. So it's not moving. No water signal. Okay. Now we're going to use this again, this pendulum to validate the findings of this uh, uh, sapo lock stick. If there is no water at all. Okay. I'll swing it here. So, the swing is that was no water. Then we, we, go, we go for the water water. I'm going to go here. It should, it should be if there is a strong water signal here, it should be circling. Uh, it should be circling like this. But if it is like this, there's no water or water at all. So, okay. So, what do you see? The pendulum is just moving sideways, which means the findings of this stage says say, say that there is no strong water signal at all, so there is no strong water source here. So don't ever ever make any drilling here. Don't make any drilling here on top of the uh, uh, buntone on the uh, the east side of the buntone, the south side of the buntone and even on the west side the Bunton because there is no water signals at all now the question is where is the signal where is the strong signal that we're going to find out okay now we go now to the north side of the Bunton let's see if there is a backward direction of this uh, Sapolaco sticks when it goes back, when, so when it, it, it moves backward like this, then it is hitting a strong water signal. Okay? So let's see. So you see, it is, there is there's a backward motion here, which means this indicates that this pick has struck. A strong water signal in the form of unseen water vapor. The water vapor coming from the coming from the uh, from the underground. Okay. Now uh, I move. I, ch I move or I change angle to make detection so I can find the uh, center of the. Uh, strong water signal it should be that the strong water signal should be and uh, there should be an imaginary intersection of the findings the first detection and where they meet that is the imaginary intersection which means that is the center of the strong signal of water okay so I go now like what I said it should be moving backward whenever I hit a strong water signal okay it's fine See? You see this? You see this? I cannot stop it. I cannot control it. It's just, it just moved backward. Okay? See? Close. Come on, get closer. See? Even if you stop, control, stop it, try to stop it, I cannot control it because there seems to be a magnetic pull from this. There's a magnetic uh, push from there, but in my side, 
I am pulling it and I cannot stop it. So that means there is strong water signal. How do we know? Now here comes the pendulum. This will validate if there is the finding of strong water source or not. Okay. So I'm going to use this. If the water, if the if this pendulum and after moving it's moving like this there is no water but if it keeps on pointing to that direction then there is strong source of water strong source of water signal okay let's find it now i'll begin here then uh, i just let it swing find its momentum and let's see where it, where it is so it is validating the finding of the stick a while ago where the stick moved backward toward backward toward me so, so this pendulum is able to sense that there is an unseen strong water signal here a strong water vapor indicating that there is a strong water signal again I have to make a, a validation again on this side try to find out the first finding of the of that stick uh, going towards there so again I'll be using the pendulum so what they notice the pendulum uh, is just moving there getting its momentum it's it's not uh, going to other direction it just go uh, on that direction so the findings of the uh, stick a while ago uh, uh, validates that there is uh, strong water signal uh, that has been struck or found okay okay now the final thing to do now is 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 it strong definitely it is strong but how strong it is is it strong a uh, stronger or strongest remember if it's not moving like this there is no water at all but it's moving this like the if, if the diameter is just like this very uh, there's water but relatively weak if that is the, something like this about uh, more than uh, one foot or more than 12 inches it means there's already water but what we want is uh, water supply that is so strong that its diameter should be about uh, two meters or about uh, about 7 to 12 uh, feet or 2 meters so that it can uh, water the farm we can water the palai can water our uh, eggplant whatever plants you have there to farm so let's find it now so this one will be final will find will will be the final say whether it is strong You notice here, it's beginning to uh, have a rotary movement. It's getting faster and faster until such time that uh, I have to uh, to uh, move backwards so that I won't be hit by this. It means that there is intermolecular inter attraction from the strong water uh, coming from underground plus the water here. Uh, that I'm holding from the uh, pendulum there, there, there's attraction water attraction and this means that there is really a strong water signal uh, abundant, there is a, uh, an abundant water source now it is here it is here that you are going to make drilling and on the right depth it is here the, and once water come come out comes comes out then it's here that you're going to install the water pipes and then after that you're going to install here the uh, uh, deep well water pumps you can be very sure that you will have a strong uh, water source for an abundant water supply that will last for a long long time and even uh, performing uh, excellently even during the hot summer time when water begins begins to be scarce or have shortages in the countryside in the whole uh, country okay so 
that's it. So friends, uh, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is whenever you are on a hunt for water strong whenever you are to, uh, on a hunt for a strong water source and whenever you see uh, an, uh, an earth mound uh, no no a termite mound or a big big boonton you can be very, you can be happy you should rejoice because the boonton is telling you hey there is strong water here around my area and the area is always on the north side about from this baseline from this uh, from the base you have to move uh, uh, about four to five feet and that is the north side and that is the source of uh, strong source of water i have found this in, in the, so many uh, buntones that i detected at, uh, and it's always on the north i only found this after years of experimentation and it's only now that i have discovered that the significance of this, of this uh, bunto is the restor strong source of water but it can only be found on the north side okay that's the significance that is what is telling you and i as uh, water hunters for a strong water source so friends worldwide kgm and kgm friends could, uh, my friends kgm thank you for watching so until next time, we'll be making other video related to finding stores of water, water, uh, a strong water, a strong water source for abundant water supply. Okay, thank you very much.